Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Presume Legal. This is Misha Janice. This is a quick update video for everybody who wanted to keep posted on the status of Charlie Adelson's home in Fort Lauderdale that was up for sale. Um, I posted that house tour video the beginning of this year in January and um, showed you what that property looked like. Now, one thing that I do need to edit that a lot of people pointed out to me and I tried to re keep up with uh, responding in the comments, um, the Tortugas Lane home is actually not where he was arrested. He was arrested at his Whale Harbor home, which is in the same neighborhood on a different street. Um, and I just want to show you on the map how close those properties are and um, just clarify that in that video, I was mistaken. He was not arrested at the Tortugas Lane house. He was arrested at the Whale Harbor home. So let me just pull up the map really quickly so I can show you guys um, where the two properties are in the general vicinity. Okay, so this is um, South Florida here on Google Maps. So um, let me just show you really quickly just relation to uh, Miami Beach, and this would be the, you know, the South Beach area in Miami where those um, condos were purchased by the family and um, and where Wendy went after she left Tallahassee. So this is Miami Beach. Um, and if we are talking about going from Miami Beach to Charlie's properties, which are in the same neighborhood again, I'm going to jump on 95, go all the way north through Hollywood. And I'm going to zoom in here. Here is the Fort Lauderdale International Airport right here. And Charlie's neighborhood is actually right in here. So very close to a major highway, the 595. Scroll in here just a little bit more. So here we see Whale Harbor Lane is this street. And Tortugas Lane is actually the street right across the canal from it. So um, let's see. I think uh, the Tortugas Lane property was probably this one or this one. It was right at close to the end of the street um, in, this, in the cul-de-sac area. Um, and when you saw the canal in my videos, um, that canal was looking at the back of homes that are on Whale Harbor Lane. So. Um, so those are the two, those are the two streets that Charlie Adelson had properties on. Zooming back out really quickly, I just want to show you where in relation um, those houses are to Tamarack, which is where we know um, uh, the Adelson Institute was... Let's see if it's going to pop up here. Pretty close by. Here it is. Here we go. Yeah. So it's in this general vicinity. Um, Tamarack is here. So in relation to where uh, the Whale Harbor home was, it's not very far at all. I think the Whale Harbor properties are down here. And um, Tamarack in this area is up here. And then if you go a little further north, we will run into Coral Springs, which is where um, Harvey and Donna lived for some time and where the kids 
grew up and went to school. Okay, so the news is that um, the Tortugas Lane property we know was for sale. And I'm just going to go to the sales history. Charlie bought it in 2020 for $660,000. And once he was arrested, it was up for rent for $9,500 a month. They, uh, they jacked that price up to $10,000 a month um, last March. And at the same time, they listed the property for sale. So for sale or for rent for $1.8 million. Um, the property remained vacant as far as I know. Um, they reduced the price in July to $1.685 million. And they also reduced the, uh, the rental amount per month to $8,500. They lowered it again to $7,945. Um, apparently the property was just vacant the entire time. It couldn't be rented out. It couldn't be sold. The rental price <laughs> dropped again to $7,550 then to $6,500 um, in, in October. The sale price changed to $1.375 million in December. And finally, it was, um, it was finally sold in February. So uh, the documents were finalized, and we're going to take a quick look at those documents. Really quickly, um, it was sold for 1.270. So from the original asking price of 1.8, the Tortugas Lane property was finally sold for 1.270. All right, so we'll see that it was sold through a warranty deed and uh, that sale went through uh, February 7th. Let's take a look at the warranty deed. I've just redacted some of the information um, just because the new owner, we don't need to put his information out like that. But these are public records um, available through the county, through Broward County. So um, we know that the property was owned by the trust. Um, so we have signatories to the deed is Charlie, Harvey, and Donna as all three trustees of that trust. They sold the property to, um, to a single individual, a single man. And we see that they signed these. They... Their signatures required. So Charlie Adelson signed on February 7th and he produced as identification in, in jail. I guess they had the notary go on to the jail in, uh, in Wakala County. I'm assuming this is a, a prisoner ID number, C62153 or 33. I can't tell, but we do have his, um, his signature on that document. Harvey signed as well. He signed in Palm Beach, producing his Florida's driver's license. And finally, we have Ms. Donna. Donna Sue signed in Leon County on February 5th, and she produced a um, another, looks like a prisoner ID, as identification for that, um, for the notary's. So um, that's all I have for you today. This is just a quick video updating you on what was going on with the property. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd love to hear what you think of that purchase price and all of those um, reductions 
in rent when they weren't able to rent out the property and the final purchase price. Um, like I said in that video, you know, the property, its bones are nice, but it does need a lot of work. So um, best wishes to the new owner. I don't know if he knows anything of the history of the prior owner who's now um, locked up for life. But, um, you know, best wishes to him. I hope he I hope he does, you know, some good work with the property. It could use it. You know, that's all I have for you today. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Until next drop. Peace.